<clears throat> Hello, family. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Oh my gosh, I'm on right now around 5 o'clock. 5.39 to be exact. Not almost midnight. <laughs> I got some time today doing some dishes right now. Um, and so I was like, you know, I'm going to sit down. I'm like, you know what? Actually, let me go ahead and do a live right now. Well, today's verse is Romans 8.18. And it says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us. I'm going to read it again. That was so good. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. My friends, whatever struggles and situations, that's Romans 8, 18, whatever struggles and situations and pain and heartache we're going through right now, understand that it is painful. I get it. Oh my God, January, February, it, it's been a hard, hard few months here at the beginning of the year. And I, for me personally, and I, I mean, for many of you, you know, people are dealing with sicknesses and death and loved ones and just, you know, different battles emotionally with family and uh, health. And it's been a challenging start of the year. And I get it. I, it, it you know what, like I said before, and I'm reminding myself that <laughs> God never promised us a perfect life. He never promised us a life full of roses. He did promise that he'll be there with us and guide us and, and make a way of the seem to be no way. And this verse right here is so beautiful because it's saying that, yes, we have present pain that are suffering. The word suffering is such a, such a big word. But I consider that our present suffering is not even comparing to what's about to happen. You know, so keep that in mind that you know, I'm listening to an audio book by Bishop T. Jakes, and he talks about the crushing. The crushing of grapes. When you crush the grapes, it's hard. It's, it's painful. The, 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 the system of it, of having to beat the grapes and pour every single juice out of it and really just push it down. But eventually, when you let it sit, it turns into pure, beautiful wine. And there's a waiting period. And the same thing with going through the fire. The mineral turns to the pure gold. My friends, this life is tough. Believe me. I mean, you all know. <laughs> so that's the reason why we pray. And we pray to seek after God. And so that's why we do these videos. But um, if you have any prayer requests, type them down below. We'll definitely pray for them. But today we're going to pray for our brother Eugene. He's going through a grieving process. His father passed away end of last year, uh, December 30th, I believe. So it's definitely been a challenging uh, season for him as well. And just talking to him, I asked permission to share it. So he says, yes, let's pray for peace and comfort as he grieves. And um, keep him in your prayers. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for that, Lord, your word in Romans says that our present suffering does not compare to the glory that will be revealed in us. So Lord, I pray that, Father, that you would remind us of your promise that, Lord, in spite of the pain that we're going through, the best is yet to come. So, Father, we thank you in advance for what you're about to do, Lord, even though we don't know what's going on. We don't see it, but, Lord, you're working on our behalf. So, Father, I pray right now, Father, for our, our friend Eugene. I pray that you give him the peace, the comfort, and the strength to endure. God, give him the just shalom, the peace that surpasses all understanding. It, it, the, 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 the passing of a loved one, Father. I pray that you would just give him your peace with not just his dad, but his dad, his best friend, and is going through his season with his mom. And God, just give Eugene peace. That's all we ask for, Lord. Just peace in his heart, peace in his mind, peace in his soul, peace in his body. Lord, I pray that you give him your comfort and your shalom. Father, we thank you for what you're doing. I pray for continued open doors of opportunity for all of us. I pray right now and declare, Father, that you would pour out your blessing, that there's not room enough to contain it. Pour it out now, Holy Spirit. Pour it out now. Father, we thank you that you live in the past, the present, and the future at the same time. So, God, we just thank you that you are an ever-present help in time of need. So, God, we thank you in advance for what you're about to do. Bless us now. Bless this evening, and we give you all the glory and praise for the testimonies that will come about. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.